Welcome back. So we are in the final days of Heart Month and a special report from the American Heart Association published late last year provided an up to date synopsis on menopause data and how it relates to cardiovascular disease in women. Joining me now to discuss this, Dr. Samuel Osa, a cardiologist from Ascension St. Vincent. Dr. Osa, Dr. Osa, sorry, thank you for coming for talking with us today. Thank you for having me. You know, women usually approach menopause in their late 40s, early 50s. So how does this change potentially affect their hearts? So there's a lot of hormonal changes that take place during menopause. Um, estrogen in particular has been shown to be protective of cardiovascular disease. Um, and during menopause, the estrogen levels in a woman uh, decrease and eventually um, that leads to a higher uh, cardiovascular risk. So is it maybe recommended that they have hormone replacement therapy? What does that look like as far as treatment? That's a really good question. That, that's something that's been very, it, it's a debated topic. Um, there's been studies that show that estrogen and, and uh, hormone replacement therapy in particular can uh, actually increase the risk of heart attack and stroke in women. Um, however, when you take the totality of the data, everything that's out there, which is what they did with this new report, um, you begin to see that there's other more nuanced patterns as to how women should take the uh, hormone replacement therapy. Uh, estrogen in particular and, and other hormones uh, similar to that uh, that are given earlier during menopause, meaning when uh, a woman starts menopause, could possibly be protective. Also taking it in a certain cycle uh, can also be protective of heart attack uh, and stroke. Whereas when it's taken later and given chronically, um, that can actually increase the risk. So it's a little bit more nuanced than if uh, hormone replacement therapy should or should not be given. That's definitely something that you need to consult with your OBGYN or primary care for, uh, as well as your cardiologist if you do have other risk factors for uh, coronary, coronary disease or stroke. Right, it sounds like uh, you could make a good or bad decision when it comes to that. Correct. Since the verdict yeah. is still out on that, is there anything that women can note or be aware of that might increase their risk as they approach menopause? Well, I, I think uh, one of the little known facts that um, unfortunately women aren't aware of is that it is the leading cause of death in women. One in three women are gonna die of heart disease. Um, so I think just changing your lifestyle early on, making sure you make the right decisions when it comes to eating, when it comes to exercise, uh, when it comes to stress uh, is very important. And that's a critical age that uh, those decisions make a long-term effect on your, on your life uh, expectancy as well as your quality of life uh, by preventing coronary disease in the future. So that's a very critical age, the age that, um, that menopause occurs at. So I think just minimizing your risk factors for coronary disease at that age um, is, is critical. And just knowing that it is a risk and looking for uh, symptoms of heart disease as well is important. Uh, many women don't realize what the exact symptoms of heart disease are. Right, and they vary so much and they can be so different for women. So I always tell women, you know, if you just don't feel well and something doesn't feel right, talk to your doctor and demand that they take a look at your heart because it could be connected to that. Also in the study, it talked about Hispanic and black women being more at risk of experiencing menopause earlier. So maybe they should be more aware of this as well. That's correct. The earlier you uh, reach menopause, the higher your risk for heart disease uh, during your life is. Uh, and that may have to do with the fact that the, the estrogen that's protective is, is, uh, is at a lower level earlier in your life. Um, also, uh, women of color uh, tend to also, tend, and, and lower socioeconomic uh, status also tend to not reach um, uh, their medical, not, not access medical care as uh, early and uh, as, as often uh, as other women. So that also leads to that higher risk. So I think reaching that population is critical to, to really stemming the surge of heart disease that we're seeing throughout the country. Dr. Rosa, thank you so much. Key here, ladies, don't delay. Make sure you get the care that you need and pay attention to your body.